directed by Joe Bagos, starring Dora Madison, True Collins, and Reese Wakefield. A brilliant painter facing the worst creative block of her life turns to anything she can to complete her masterpiece, spiraling into a hallucinatory hellscape of drugs, sex, and murder in the sleazy underbelly of Los Angeles. I'm a huge fan of sleazy horror cinema from the 70s and early 80s, so when I saw Bliss, this was a film that was right up my alley. This feels like a film that could have been made in the late 70s, early 80s, and everything about the aesthetic of this film is magnificent. Bliss follows a woman named Desi who is a struggling artist. She's being dropped by her manager because she's been having a really tough creative block. That's until she takes this drug, which is a combination of both cocaine and DMT, and she begins to have intense hallucinations. She then begins to have an intense craving for blood. Near Dark is one of my favorite horror films of all time. This, to me, feels like a sleazier version of Near Dark, and I loved every single second of it. I haven't seen a film like Bliss in years. I can't think of anything that comes close to this film. It's incredibly unique. You go on the ride with our main character, Desi, while she's going through her benders, and we see those glimpses of what's happening and then her trying to figure out and piece together what happened the other night. I love the use of color, the cinematography, and the way that the camera will not only follow our characters, it's almost like the actors are dancing with the camera in these scenes, and it's really beautiful. The soundtrack is hypnotic. It goes from these kind of synth tones to hard metal, hard punk music. The acting is great, especially Dora Madison. I loved her in this film. She is magnetic. There's not one point in the film where she doesn't have my attention. She's so captivating. Joe Bagos has made my favorite film of the year so far. I love this film. I can't stop gushing about it. The violence and the gore is really well done. There are some scenes that made my jaw drop and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. So for me, Bliss is an instant classic. I can't find one thing that I don't like about this movie. From beginning to end, I was in love with this film. I'd recommend this to folks who are familiar with late 70s, early 80s sleazy horror films, as well as those that are interested in checking out more indie and art house type of films, because this movie, it does follow a narrative, but it's really out there. So if you're feeling adventurous, check this one out. It's absolutely worth it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for coming by, and I'll see you guys next time.